What you're going to experience this evening is called trance mediumship, in which I will go into a deeper altered state and connect with spirits just as in mental mediumship, but these are my spirit guides who have asked me to call them Sanaya. And I don't just repeat their words to you, or as I would in a reading, to a sitter. I allow them to use my voice, to use my gestures to communicate with whoever is listening. So that's what most people understand as channeling, but also known as trans mediumship. Do they control me? Not at all. It's a, it's a cooperative endeavor. I get out of the way. And in fact, the more I can surrender, the more I can forget that anybody is even listening. I just volunteer myself to be their instrument. I didn't study trans mediumship. Carolyn and Jan and I sat down one night in 2009, in fact, it was December 2009, when we sat down and said, hey, let's tune into spirits and let's see who comes through, what's going to happen. We just thought we were going to do regular mediumship. And the next thing you know, I believe a, a feminine voice came through Carolyn and we were a little bit surprised at that. And then she stopped talking. And the next thing you know, I hear a voice in my head saying, speak. <laughs> and I thought, what is that? And again, the voice says, speak. <laughs> and I said mentally, about what? <laughs> and he just said, speak. And I opened my mouth and this deep voice with a Russian accent came out. And these two told me later they about fell off their chairs. It was a little bit stunning. And he went on to talk and they asked him his name and he answered. And then all of a sudden I, my head moved over here and the female voice started coming out of me. This was channeling and it just happened spontaneously. I remember going for a walk with Ty afterwards. The moon was full and I was just in a different place thinking, what just happened? And I never did go on to study channeling. I just continued to allow that to happen, bringing in more and more people on a regular basis until the room filled up and we didn't have room for anybody else. And uh, I remember the first time that I brought my mother to one of these sessions in our local uh, Unity Church. I brought through Sanaya, and as you are about to experience, it's a very different aspect of me that you will see. And one person in the audience said, I want to ask your mother, what do you think when you see your daughter doing that? And she, she's very innocent. She shook her head and she said, we didn't raise you like that, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how can you tell it's trance is a question that people always ask. Well, you'll hear a different voice. And uh, somebody once asked, why is that? And uh, the spirits told us it's so that you recognize there is a different being speaking through the channel. You will definitely see my motions, my gestures change. You should see my actual face change. And I'm not doing that. It just happens. I don't know if you'll be able to see an aura because of the lighting here, but those present here in the room will see aura and they'll see different colors. And it's fascinating to me how that happens. What's it like for me? People want to know. I am going to be observing this just like you are. I'm conscious, but it's as if I'm in the background and it is definitely two different personalities. But Sanaya's voice and their messages may be coming through me, but in the background, I, Suzanne, am thinking, oh, wow, I didn't expect them to talk about that. Or, oh, that's a new one. They've never talked about that before. All of those thoughts are going through my head as this continuous flow of information is coming from Sanaya. And that brings up another point. Why this is a bit of a leap for me tonight is because I have no idea what they're going to talk about. I don't know what the subject matter is. I never do. And the former Navy officer in me likes to be prepared. I mean, I have a few notes of things like these introductory remarks that I wanted to share with you. But once they get going, I don't know what they're going to talk about. You will see probably my lip twitch in a funny way. I can't demonstrate it to you now because I don't do it. My guides do that. And it's kind of a, an affirmation to me that of their way of saying, we're here. We're with you. Go ahead. Trust us. We won't let you down. What is the whole point of this? Well, it's pretty darned awesome. 
because it's our opportunity to hear straight from the spirit world. And that's how you can tell it's trance, because you hear information that doesn't come from this level. And one of my favorite quotes from Albert Einstein is, no problem was ever solved at the level at which it originated. And where are all of our human problems? Right here, right now. And so this is our opportunity to hear how to look at our problems from a whole different level, the spirit world. And I'm always amazed by the wisdom that comes through in Sanaya's words. So that's how this is going to go. Also, they do not refer to me as Suzanne when Sanaya is speaking through me. They refer to me as this one. So if you hear them talk about this one, they're talking about me. The reason for that is the one time they used my name, it brought me right back into the lower self, ego, focusing on the one known as Suzanne. And it brought me right out of the trance state. I think they did it to me on purpose to show me that in this state, the only way to connect with them fully is to disidentify with the self. So they refer to me often using me as a teaching tool, and uh, they refer to me as this one. Okay.